Oh. Alright, here's Rise of the Shadows. There we are. I think I have enough cards. Uh, cannot exceed 50, so I have to buy them 50 at a time. What's the point of that? I guess so people don't screw up too much at once. Alright, uh, now what does this mean? Uh, so, two? Two packs? They're 100 each, right? Yeah. That was some basic math I couldn't work out. 234 packs. Editing the stream. Alright. Let's begin. Hello. There we are. Look at this card back. This card back is fucking sick. I love this, uh, the battle for Azeroth. I think it's like collector's edition card back. So sick. Alright, we're gonna have to start going for Pega because we've got a lot of cards to get through. So we're gonna have to, we've got to be quick. But I got my finger on the space bar. Hit Flight Master. That's a card I want. I'll just mention cards that I'm looking for that I'm happy to see pop up for me. Uh, none of these. Maybe Sunreaver Spy. Oh yeah, we hit Walking Fountain. We hit both Walking Fountains already. GG. GG game. We hit Walking Fountains. That's the charm, baby. That's what we're looking for. Even Strife Crow is streaming Hearthstone right now. He's back. Hogsteed, booyah. Second Ursatron already. We already hit Ursatron. Good shit. I don't want any of those. I uh, can't wait to see people uh, uh, buy the wrong packs again. I wonder if people do that in this day and age. Haha, <laughs> Rafarm. We, we've already got Ursatrons. Fuck yeah. Uh, Rafarm's fine though. That's a spicy meme card that I'd love to play. Shimmerfly, Booyah. I've not got a Golden Legendary in 400, 140 packs. I think I'm pretty good with my Golden Legendary luck. They'll never be ones that I want, but I, I, I think I get a good amount of Golden Legendaries. And then I just disenchant them if I want to and craft uh, Golden Hunter cards with all that extra dust. And I've got so much dust now, I can just craft full Golden Hybrid Hunter, and I will. I'm, I'm not entering a ladder with a filthy non-Golden deck. <laughs> I just want to check again. You definitely can't see. Okay, good. Uh, you can't. Uh, just on my gaming computer, I still have the deck tracker on the right there. So that would have been kind of stupid to have on stream right now while just opening packs. Uh, oh, we hit a mount. Hit a exotic mount seller. I need. I need them. I think we're just gonna hit every card in the game with 200 and something, right? There's a golden. Blastmaster Boom. Skullwater hit it. Pretty cool. Acorn Bearer. That's a cool card. Maybe it's better with the with the mouse. Maybe it's uh you get more legendaries this way. Oh, hunting party, we need that. Rapid fire, we need that. Nah, space bars uh, quicker. And we uh, I'd rather just start playing games. Safeguard, I want that, that's good. Why is it not? Okay. The Hearthstone packs are lagging in the Hearthstone game. That's funny. There's that ping, improve morale, that didn't work on that reveal stream. That's pretty funny. Yeah, so you can take a look at those Hunter lists. There's a couple more ideas that I haven't theory crafted yet that I want to try. Uh, but those will be the first ones for sure. Someone else hit Rafarm. Maybe they skew it so everyone hits Rafarm earlier, because that's a spicy meme card. I think Jewel is such a funny mechanic. I'd love to try and make a big Paladin. Uh, that would definitely lose me ranks, but uh, probably. Uh, I'd say if I was, if there was a gun to my head and I, and a dude telling me I can't play Hunter right now, 
I think I'd play mid-range Shaman right now. I'm a bit extreme, aren't I, saying a gun to a head. I, I, I don't care about Hunter that much, I swear. <laughs> I don't care that much. What should you play, Nades? Uh, my most... Uh, I'll mention some of the ones that I'm interested in, in general. Not just Hunter ones. Or are you looking for a Hunter one? You're probably looking for uh, decks in general. The ones that are interesting are Murloc Shaman, of course. Just good mid-range elemental Shaman. Um... Lots of hunter decks out there. Hybrid hunter's kind of the same shit, so maybe try, uh, maybe like mech midrange hunter. I have one of those. I'm playing your first deck link. Okay. Okay. I will, uh, maybe, uh, do you wanna. Mm, there's some that have weird gameplays. I'm not even, like, looking at the cards, because I feel like I'll just get all of them, so why should I care? Um,. I think a fun one that you could very likely afford would be uh, this one. And I think it's one of my strongest. I think it's one of my strongest. Can only 10 pack, open 10 packs with 1000G. Feels bad, man. Yeah, I'm, and I'm just like, I'm like the 1% in the Hearthstone world with my 10k gold for post rotation. And I just blasted it all into this. I should have probably just saved my gold um, for the for the possible, for the like expansion wings when they come out. That was probably just like a big misplay, but we're having fun here opening packs. And I guess, I mean, I'm gonna craft golden decks, so it makes sense to just invest it all in packs so I can uh, uh, just high roll and hit a lot of the hunter golden cards that I want and I will craft. Uh, 130 packs, yeah, that's plenty. And I had over 200, which is just like overkill. For sure, but that's just because I had so much freaking gold. Um, what did we hit? Oh yes, what a hit! We hit Hagatha. We don't have to craft Hagatha. Fuck yeah, so good for midrange shaman. So good in general. Just such a good card. GG. We won the pack opening. We hit Hagatha. I had a ton of dust, so I didn't... Oh yeah, dust too. I really shouldn't have spent my gold on packs. That was probably fucking stupid, wasn't it? But I don't get to open packs very much, you know? So this is a... I always love the, the pack opening streams. It's always a lot of fun. Oh, golden epic. That's dust. Not that I need it. I could keep that golden. It, it makes a, a lot of other cards golden by copying it. <laughs> Hogsteeds. I've got enough Hogsteeds now, I'm pretty sure. Have I seen any Hench Clan Hags? I need to hit Hench Clan Hags, preferably golden Hench Clan Hags, because I'm confident that card's uh, the like Corridor Creeper of the set. Just incredibly high value card in itself. And it fits into a lot of different decks, especially for Hunter. Uh, I'm happy to see like Magic Dart Frogs. I definitely need to get two of those, because I would love to try a Tempo Mage list out. Cable Rat, I really want to try that too, but I don't think it makes the cut in Hunter. It's close, but it doesn't make the cut. I feel like our, our pack openings have been like pretty like on average right now we've hit some goldens i crafted normal xd oh you already oh you already crafted stuff yeah if you know what you you want to play then just like just go for it like who cares about maximizing dust efficiency oh keep a Stiladris is a sick one i'm a big fan of token druid not that you guys would know it. You guys would think I'm just addicted to Hunter, but I play other things. What the fuck is Vicious Scrap Hound? How have I never seen this? Whenever this minion deals damage, gain that much armor. Shit, with Magnetize and stuff? That's a pretty fucking good armor gain card right there. And Zilliax is still around. How have I not seen some of the cards? I thought I saw every card. Oh, maybe it was released at the very end, the final reveal stream. Yeah, because it was class specific and I wouldn't have looked at that for the Hunter review stream. I have been pretty fo laser focused on Hunter. Um, let's see what we get. Eh. 
Lame. Uh, let's see what else we get. Spell with Jeweler Golden. We've got enough Hog Steeds. I wonder how many Hog Steeds we're gonna get. I think Blizzard knows that how much I love Hog Steed too. Yeah, look, look how many. And Ursatrons. They know how much I love those cards, so they've skewed it, so I just get a shitload of those. Hearthstone's so laggy. Yeah, it, it even lagged like opening packs earlier. Pretty, pretty crazy. Golden Acorn Bear is pretty nutty hit. Uh, that's a high efficient, high efficiency golden card to keep. Hench Clan Burglar, I don't think that that card's good. It's pretty slow. I've definitely hit in the, the two rapid fires. Do I go Face Hunter? Would you guys like to see Face Hunter first? Because, like, everyone that I'd be playing against would be like, what the fuck? Like, are you serious, bro? Like, day one expansion and you're playing uh, you're playing Face Hunter at High Legend? Like, like that's so, uh... Like, that's total BS. Like, just punishing people for greedy decks. Greedy bad decks. Cadgar? Uh, what does he do? Oh, the duplicate of copies? I totally think there's potential there. I was even playing a Vargoth... A Vargoth Unexpected Results Mage uh, before the rotation. So I totally think Va uh, Cad Cadgar could... Uh, Cadgar can find a spot in a deck somewhere. It'll have to be, like, a tempo list... I'm pretty sure. Not a control list. I feel like this is like perfect music electro swing for opening packs. Because it's like highlight beats per minute, you know? <laughs> and it fits with like the Papega feel of uh, opening packs. Did you see that? Like that uh, pack opening lag? We've definitely had our walking fountains. I feel like we've we're, we're like started to become a bit like below average uh, on these uh, pack openings right now. I want to hit a golden legendary. I feel like I'm obligated to hit a golden legendary if I'm doing 200 plus. Okay, and Chef Nomi, Blizzard is memeing me. <laughs> yeah. What have I hit? I hit Hagatha. That's already far better than you, actually. I should be grateful for hitting Hagatha. Like this music, I should try and uh, keep to the rhythm. This song's perfect. It's literally like in time. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Yeah, boom. Blastmaster, boom. I'm happy with that. I don't really need legendaries from Hunter, so I'd rather hit other classes' legendaries that are like crucial to the crucial to the archetypes. You know, I don't need Verisa right away. That's the only thing I need. The only legendary in any of my uh, decks I've theory crafted so far. Well, actually, Zilliax and stuff too. No new legendaries except for Verisa. I'm disenchanting Rexar, that's gonna hurt. Don't you fucking dare disenchant him. I will hunt you down, Yellow Kappa Swag, and I will beat you up IRL at a land, bro. I will beat you up at a land if you disenchant Rexar. Unleash the Beast, there it is. I've probably had it Unleash the Beast by now. Another one. Don't you dare disenchant Rexar. I am not touching my Rexar. But I'm poor. Disenchant everything else. Disenchant everything else. And then, if you still need the extra dust, then I guess I'll let you off. Then I'll guess I'll let you off. Disenchant everything else that you don't need or care about. And then, uh... I drew 2-2 two -two bombs versus Bomb Warrior by Twitch 6. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> By turn six. Welcome to the new meta needs. I hope you like it. <laughs> Golden Dimensional Ripper, that's kind of cool. Uh, bro, I've been rolled three games in a row. Maybe, are you seeing aggro or are you seeing like greedy control list? I may just fucking go like full Papega uh, face hunter. Just make, uh, just get face hunter in the meta. Because I think it, if it's, oh, hench clan hag, really good to see. I've probably hit two hench clan hags. They're just not a very pretty card, so you don't notice it. Hitting epics and stuff is fine. And I've got plenty of dust, but I'd rather just be hitting all the hunter cards. Like, there's hunting party. Or maybe I, no, I want to hit golden hunter cards. Otherwise, otherwise other classes legendaries. Those are the kind of cards I want to hit. Either golden hunter cards or other classes legendaries. Zoo times two. Zoo? Okay. Oh, Zoo would be a real trouble for face hunter. And one warrior. And warrior would be kind of hard for face hunter right now. So maybe it's a bad idea. I would say hybrid hunter is always going to be a good idea. It's cool that people are playing this quickly. That they just start right away. Um, just slamming games and new cards. They probably know exactly what they want to play and have just like, maybe like crafted it instantly. <laughs> God, we've gotten so many hog steeds. I can't wait to see how many hog steeds we got. Um, oh, legendary. Oh, Scargill. That's a, that's a legendary I'm looking for. There's Unleash the Beast. We've definitely got two of them now. Can you explain how I've drawn two War Gears to Unleash in Hunter matchup? Oh, that's pretty rough. Um, cause, uh, that kind of mid-range does get more punished to decks that go wide. You could try, I don't know. Mm. Maybe you need, like, need it to be a bit more anti-aggro. So maybe you like cut the venomizers and you like run like hatchets instead in that list. It is just the first few games and it is variants and like it's totally unpredictable how to correctly build a deck right now in such a chaotic meta like the opening of an expansion. So don't worry about losing right now. Yeah, just 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 play the game. Cause like there'll be so much shit out of your control, but you can you can see the synergies, right? And it's such a cheap deck, I feel. I'm pretty sure it's one of my cheaper decks. What's the dust? Dust cost? No, it's actually not a cheap one at all. Because of Zilliax. And sure. It's not a cheap one, sadly. But it does run a lot of old cards. Combined with a few... Only a few new ones. So I feel like it's pretty easy for people to be able to craft that deck. To find the pieces of that deck. Like Ursatron's common... Um, Hogsteed's common, Mekaru you would already have, Amalgam you already have, Hag is also a common. So the only demanding cards you need is Zilliax and Shaw, Houndmaster Shaw from that. And then it's just like incredibly cheap. I've no Theorycraft so I'm out of my depth. Uh, you can just like, just try shit on your own man, just like, it's fine though. I feel like it got a bit too loud and I was talking a bit too loud. There we are, I feel like I'm at a better volume now. A Zilliax and Shaw sure worth crafting, you think? I definitely think a Zilliax is. Absolutely Zilliax. Um, sure, not so sure. Because <laughs> it could just be uh, that Hybrid Hunter is just far superior, or Mid Range Hunter with Master's Call. In both of those cases, you don't need Hellmaster Shaw. So don't worry about Hellmaster Shaw. You could easily just swap that with something else. Uh, but I would say for Zilliax, because that fits into so many different classes' decks, Zilliax will absolutely be a, a valuable craft. Uh, yeah, I'm just chilling, doing free quests. Oh, so, uh, underbelly angler. I guess that fits in the Murloc pieces I need. I'm pretty. I'm feeling. I'm feeling like I'm gonna need to bring hungry crabs into my list instantly. I'm not even going to wait to see some Murloc Shamans. I'm just going to start running Hungry Crabs right away. Golden Potion Vendor is pretty cool if I ever felt like playing Priest. But uh, 
when do I ever play priest, right? <laughs> That's a never. I want to play Bomb Warrior, but I didn't uh, pack Boom's this weapon, so I'm waiting to see if the deck is good so I can craft Golden. True. Shimmerfly, good to see. Yeah, like, we don't know if the Bomb package is enough until we just start playing it and we just kind of feel out the average of when enough Bombs are in their deck to, like, just finish them off kind of thing. Um, it could just be that they're just total trash. And then you just shouldn't get the bomb package. It's very possible. Golden uh, Whirlwind Tempest is pretty funny. Golden Epic. It's got a uh, good dust value. Look at that pack lag. Um, oh, legendary? No, not Nazari. All right. I whiffed. I whiffed that legendary. I haven't hit a golden legendary yet. I hope I hit a golden legendary. Vicious Scrap Hound is such a cool little card, though. Incredibly good for like a mech rush control warrior. If that's a thing. Flight Master I think has a lot of potential. One of our winner game before you finish opening packs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We'll see. I'm down to the to the final stretch here. Last 100. I guess I'm like, I'm I'm over halfway. Done. God, so many hog steeds, man. Don't think I will. <laughs> Pet our shimmer flies. This music is actually perfect for opening packs. Feels good, man. How much time is needed before a meta is established? Oh man, it's gonna it's gonna take a while uh, because of uh, because of it being such a new expansion with so many new cards and different archetypes available. I'd say like a couple of weeks. Uh, before we truly see what's the cream of the crop. You won, hell yeah. Good job. So you, you, you beat my pack opening. Uh, I love Crystal Stag. I wish Crystal Stag was a Hunter card, because I would honestly run like a heal package just to play Crystal Stag and Hunter. <laughs> That's how that's how good I think that card is. Uh, how's my luck so far? I'd, I'd I'd call it like average or above average. I hit a I hit the Shaman Swamp Queen Hagatha, and th I think that's a pretty high value legendary hit. I hit a few other like Goldens and stuff. I've hit a lot of the Hunter cards that I need. Uh, I haven't hit them Golden though. I want it Golden. I think I'll have enough dust to craft Hybrid Hunter Golden straight away. Uh, cause I'm just like a balls out gamer like that. I'm just confident in my theory crafts and I'm just like, you know what? I'm so confident that this is going to be good that I'm just going to make it golden right now. Day one. Day one golden. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling lucky. I want to hit a golden legendary before I'm finished, uh, opening packs though. I've hit all the, I've hit a million Ursatrons and Hogsteeds. Oh, there was a cop car that just went by. Maybe someone ran a red. I think someone did run a red. That's funny. And just got caught instantly. Yeah, they pulled over just up the block. I can see out my window. I bought 33 packs and got Tog and the Hunter Weapon Legendary. Uh, and Golden and Refarm and Normal. This is most rigged opening. Those, that's nutty. Those are such good legendaries. I would, I would happily trade my legendaries for yours. Though that's sick. I got Refarm as well. But I'd much rather a uh, Verisa and a uh, Tog. Haven't got a Golden Legendary yet. Or just like a Golden at all. I'm sure you would have hit like a Golden Common or something lame. Yeah, look, there's a Golden Common. <laughs> oh, 
Am I like leaning into my pack openings? I think I was leaning into them. <laughs> I was like, just like helping uh, increase my odds, you know, just sending my energy to the packs. <laughs> what you got, Moe? I got enough rapid fires now. Golden legendary? Nah. Oh, just at all? No, oh, I've, I've had plenty of golden legendaries and I've crafted plenty. Like my Zildjian's golden. Because that's a high value golden legendary. Because I play a lot of Zildjian, Hunter. And used to too. Golden Toxfin, that's a good hit. Oh, this expansion? Okay. What are golden legendaries have you guys hit in packs? Or like, maybe what was your first golden legendary, if you can remember that? Mine was, um, Anexia, I'm pretty sure. And I kept it for ages. I even played, there was even that token druid meta where it ran Anexia, and I could play my golden Anexia in that deck, and that felt good. I kept my golden Anexia. I didn't disenchant it. But I think the, the next golden legendary I got, I did disenchant for something else. <laughs> I don't know, first golden legendary I crafted, but first I crafted was Rag. Yeah, Rag was definitely a good golden craft. Very good idea. I'm not I'm not seeing the, the pieces that I'm wanting. This is looking like a I feel like it's a bit below average right now. If we had a golden legendary, then it's like a totally worth it set of packs. Or No, not Geppetto. <laughs> no, not at all. Thankfully, Pity Timer means we've got at least one more Legendary. If we hit an early Legendary, then we could have a guaranteed two Legendaries. I love discussing, like, uh, pack opening RNG. Uh, like it's, like, hardcore gameplay, you know? Ragnaros, Deathwing, Tess. Oh, so you packed a Golden Ragnaros, or...? New Verisa, you remember all of them. Yeah. Those are, those are all pretty cool Golden Legendaries. Some of them, like, haven't been useful in the meta, though, like Tess and Deathwing. But, uh, the other three are uh, definitely super sweet Golden Legendaries. I don't remember what other Golden Legendaries I did. I don't think I hit Zoljin or Rexar Golden from a pack. I'm pretty sure I crafted both of them. I did hit other several other uh, Legendaries Golden. But I don't think there are anything I like super cared about. Oh, one of them was Kalaseth though. And when I unpacked it at the time and saw Kalaseth, I was like, um, oh, Barista Lynchin, I want that. That's good. Golden Omega Devastator. So we've got guaranteed one more legendary now. Let's see if we can sneak one more in before the pity timer wouldn't matter. Sneak in one more legendary. Golden, you crafted Golden Boom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got Golden Doctor Booms, uh, and, and, and another obvious one. Oh, we snuck in another legendary, Elysiana. Okay, we got 20 more packs, uh, 19 more packs to sneak in another legendary. Um, and then we have the Pity Timer guarantee us a legendary. So we could potentially get two more packs. We could potentially get more, two more legendaries. We could potentially get more, but I'm not that greedy. I want one more legendary before the 40. And then this is, this is already a well above average uh, pack opening because of those runner runner legendaries. They weren't runner runner, but they were very close together. Feels good, man. This is a good pack opening stream. Nice. By uh, using this card pack, it's signifying to Blizzard that I spend money on their game, so therefore they should give me better luck than other people. Fuck, I forgot to put Elephant. You forgot Elephant and Boom Warrior and you played it? <laughs> uh, it may not be necessary. Maybe you only want Control Warrior cards in that kind of deck, or is it like more of a tempo deck in which you would be fine playing Alec? Not sure. But very funny that you forgot it. Golden Mana Reservoir. Don't think I need that. Alright. We got uh, 10 more packs left to hit a Legendary. Before Pity Timer will give us one regardless. Golden Rare. That's good. I'm happy with that. That's nice. Oh, effort. Nice. 
We've got two shadowy figures, I know, because another one was golden. I just typed rush, put in good rush cards, mech, and then boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I think the deck will be made. Another Ursatron. Uh-oh, we're down to five packs left uh, before Pity Timer will, won't matter. Legendary, baby? Nah. Alright, I, I really want one more Legendary. I think we could just squeeze in a guaranteed two more Legendaries. Oh, Unleash the Beast. No, I've got enough Unleash the Beast now. I've hit two of them. Legendary? Nah, damn. Damn it. Alright, we're down to the wire. We need a Legendary right now for Pity Timer to save us. Uh, and get, a, get get us two. Legendary? Damn it. I don't think it'll work unless I like bought one extra pack, then the Pity Timer would go off and I'd get two. I guess that's possible. No, okay, it's not possible anymore. Alright, so we've got at, at least one more legendary to come. That was my commentating for pack openings. Uh, nah, that's a boring, boring golden. Effort. Jewel, we've got two jewels now, if we want to try a big paladin. That would be so funny. We've definitely got enough uh, safeguards. Venomizer seems incredibly good for Mech Hunter. Yeah, you see the lines, right? You see the lines in um in the deck that. Oh, do you know the deck that I'm talking about? In the deck that I linked Nades. We are talking about my list, right? Yeah, and that one. Yes. Yes. Um. Yeah, 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 you see the lines. It's it, Those tokens are just like easy targets to find a quick poison on. It could be on a Nursatron, it could be on your Mecharu, or even the dead Mecharu, the, the token of it. Uh, there's a lot of pieces there, even on an Amalgam for maybe a value trade on a minion, and just give poisonous, plus like mark of the, you know, the plus two, plus two buff, is what you could equate it to when you put it on a Amalgam. Uh, even Zilliacs, fringe scenarios, you could get those two together. There's just so many, so much synergy there. Uh, Houndmaster Shore, rushing it in. Um, you see the lines now, you see what I'm seeing, and that's why I think there's so many... The power of Ursatron, the power of Shimmerfly, the power of um, Hench Clan Hag gives Hunter so much flexibility in how you make your deck. Alright. Oh, there's the legendary. Oh, Commander Risa. That's a good one to hit. That's cool. Feels good, man. I wanna play it, but sure might be a waste. Also not sure about the two epic cards. What are the two epic cards in there? Um, let me look at it. Two epic cards. Is Hag epic? Oh my god, Hench Clan Hag is an epic? I thought it was a common. Oh, my bad, man. Yeah. Oh, this deck is pretty hard to craft. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Uh, I, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. I wanna see. Uh, I wanna see uh, Nades play. Oh, hell yeah! You got the full board. That's pretty sick. Against like a rush druid too. That's a that's a pretty good board to have against like a rush druid. No spreading plague, baby. No spreading plague. Oh my god, feels good, man. You don't have to like play around playing too many minions, unless it's just like AOE. And AOE is so easy to play around if you if you know what you're doing. Probably will play uh, some zoo until decks are clear. Yeah, just play cheap things for now. Don't go overboard crafting things. You won because of boom. Hell yeah, man. Just uh, there's so many good cards that are commons in this uh, in this meta that you can easily find a cheap deck to play uh, until uh, you wanna you wanna wait for like safe crafts. But if you can like afford to just fuck around and be an idiot like me, someone hit Verisa. I'm jealous of them. 
I, uh, the the best card to hit now would be Golden Hunter cards or Varisa. Golden Varisa especially would uh, just make my day. One, yeah, that's that's pretty sick. Just all those boom bots. That's just so much damage, man. So many Ursatrons, can't wait to see how many Ursatrons we got. We're nearly there. Yeah, that's, that's pretty fucking funny. That, fe that feels good, man. Because, like, that's exactly what you're hoping to win. It's exactly how you're hoping to win um, with that deck. So, feels good, man, to, like, hit it right away. <laughs> Rather than just like keep losing with the deck or something. Maybe it's consistent enough. We'll see. I've got enough exotic mount sellers. Hopefully I've got both hags. Hopefully I don't have to craft a hag. I'd hope to, that I pack a, packed both hags. I know I've seen one at least. I'll probably hit the other one by now. Hoping to annul them, bomb them. Yeah, yeah, where they just draw into chain bombs and then just die. That feels good too. Cool. Amaz, still streaming auto chess. That's what I was wanting to find out. Amaz is still streaming auto chess, wow. Not even here for an expansion and rotation. That seems crazy. How can you abandon Hearthstone to Mars? You know you'd get like 10k viewers right now if he was streaming it. Because dogs at 8. But Crip and Toast are on. And I guess a lot of Mars's viewers are Crip and Toast viewers. I don't know why I'm breaking down a... Can I just hit Golden Vreeser at the end here? Alright, last card. Boom, 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 boom. Epic. Alright, I would call that above average just because of the quantity of legendaries that we hit. If I were